Welcome back to Web Development with AngularJS and Bootstrap. In the last section, we looked at using Angular's route module to show multiple pages without needing to refresh the page. In this section, we are going to have a look at displaying data with ng-repeats. In the code bundle for this video, I have updated the report.json file with some sample code. In this case, it's just some fictional customers. If we open up the report page we built in the last section, we can see that the data in the report.json file is dumped out as is. In this video, we will be using the ng-repeat directive to display this data in a table. First, let us look into the Angular docs for the ng-repeat directive. This directive is one of the more complicated ones to fully understand. In brief, it iterates over an array or struct, so for now we're going to jump down to the example and adapt that for our use. As we can see here, the ng-repeat is being used on the list elements, or li elements, in the list, and inside them we are outputting the data. Let's jump in straight in and add a basic table to our code. We'll come back to look at the bootstrap stylings for the table later in the video. Here, our data loaded from the server is in the same format as the friends array from the example, so we can use the same ng-repeat syntax. Next, we need to identify the HTML element that we want to repeat for each element in the array. In the example, it was an li element. In our case, we'll want a table row or tr element to be repeated. So let's add in our table, then our table row with the ng-repeat. Our table row will have the ng-repeat attributes on it, like so. And lastly, in the td of the table, let's just output the row variable to see what happens. Right, let's have a look at what this looks like now. As you can see, this is nearly the same output data as it did before, but if we look carefully, we're now missing the opening and closing square brackets of the array. Let's see what Bootstrap has that could make this a bit easier to see. So in our case, we'll want this table class. And let's get a striped rows and a bordered table as well. So here's the striped table striped and table bordered. So let's go back over and add them to our table. Now, if we look at our report page, we can see a bit better what is being output in each row. In this case, the engine repeat is making the report row variable equal to an element in the array in each case. Let's output this data a bit better now. So we'll change our TD report row to have up at the name, balance, the dob, and the gender. Let's go look at our report page again. Okay, so that looks a bit better, but some headers are, would help our user out, so let's add them now. So we'll change our table to have a T head section or a table head section. Our table row, TH name, balance, date of birth, and gender. We'll also wrap our data in a t-body though this is not strictly necessary it's good to keep the table data structured so because more complicated nested repeats we will often repeat a t-body and then other tr's inside them all right let's have a look at our work whoops i've made a mistake here there we go much better Alright, that concludes this video introducing the ng-repeat. In the next video, we'll be looking into filters to further improve the formatting of our data.